Okay, so good morning everyone. Kamusta na kayo dyan? Uh, I hope you are always uh, fine and in good uh, condition and situation. So today, uh, we will continue studying our course, Pastoral Apprenticeship, and the, uh, basically uh, discuss the the uh, materials with the uh, with the title the art of management for christian leaders now written by ted w armstrong and edward dayton okay so our lesson will uh, come from this uh, book okay so before we continue let us come to god in prayer Hallelujah, Lord, praise your holy name. Uh, dear God, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given to us. Lord, uh, we ask for your revelation and knowledge and wisdom. We ask that the Holy Spirit will continue to pour uh, the, the spirit that we need in order to uh, become an effective pastor, Lord, while we are doing our apprenticeship. Uh, Lord, we ask that everything uh, will be guided by the Holy Spirit. And we commit everything, Lord, to you this morning. And this is we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Okay? So, first, we're going to discuss the basic steps to establishing organizational goal. So, the organizational goal is very important, no? especially the organization of the church. Okay, uh, so here we have the basic steps to establishing organizational goal which will capture the allegiance of your group. Okay, so number one step, okay, that we need to consider is, no? Number one is you need to bring together uh, wait a minute. Okay, you need to bring together key people who can lead others. No, this is the the first uh, step. Ask them. To start dreaming and thinking with you about what your church organization should have accomplished in approximately 5 years or 10 years. Okay? So number two, bring in other people early in the process. No, perhaps an... A church organization planning retreat by departments or by other groups. Remember the principle of goal ownership. Good goals are my goals and bad goals are your goals. So bring uh, other people early in the process. Okay, number three step. A prioritize the many good ideas you'll get and decide on a few overarching purpose and some specific major goal each year. So by the way, these basic steps are easy to elaborate. No? So I just uh, uh, sharing some concept. Okay, here... Uh, you need to prioritize the good ideas. 
Okay, you'll uh, ask your team members to decide on what is priority project or activity in the church. Okay, next one. Analyze what steps would be needed to accomplish this goal. Okay, you need to analyze what steps would be needed. So, um, what are the things you need to do? No, one by one. Okay, next one is that estimate the cost in people, dollars, and facilities. So, this uh, step need to consider the cost. No? Maybe what are the budget for this. Okay? And number six, you need to assign specific people to the task. Okay? Delegate the, the assignment or the activities no to your uh, specific people so number 7 communicate your goal in every way possible okay you need to preach them measure them and talk about them okay communicate So, last one is that you need to remember you are in a process. Meaning, uh, when you have activities or goal or agenda, you need to wait because uh, each situation will change from time to time. It is a process. New goals will have to be set. Okay? So, these steps are Im important for establishing organizational no, goal or church goal. No? So, you need to operate according to the goal. So, a goal can be a very beautiful statement of what you hope will happen someday. That is a goal. But, it is no more useful than the plane, than the plans, people, and resources that will be needed to make it happen. So, every goal should have a purpose. State your reason first for why you want to do something. And then secondly, you need to ex uh, state the goal. Okay, what is it you plan to accomplish? No, but note that the difference between a goal and a purpose is that goal is measurable. Okay, therefore you need to have a date by which the goal will be accomplished. Or, you will have begun the goal or the program that you want to institute. So, you need to know how you are going to measure whether or not you actually met the goal. How will you know that it happened? So, this measurement may be in the form of indicators such as number of people who are involved or in the case of something more definitive like the building of new building the very fact of its existence will be a measurement so goal uh, is no better than the plan to accomplish it so, goal is the same with planning. So, goal setting 
is the same with uh, planning. No? So that you can reach your uh, target. No? This is very important because the church is an organization of uh, people who were saved by the Lord God. Okay? So, uh, we need to describe the step that will lead us to the goal. So, the question is, who will be responsible? So, who will be the people who are going to own Okay? Own the goal of the organization. Okay? If nobody owns them, chances are very high that they will never be accomplished. So, ang tanong, no? Sino? Sino? Ang individual na tao sa loob ng church, who are the individual inside of the church that will be responsible no, for the ownership of the goal. No? You need also to consider the resources. What will be the cost of it? Cost obviously cannot be calculated until you have decided on the steps you are going to take to reach the goal. Therefore, you may go through the entire process only to discover that you cannot afford to accomplish the goal. Okay? So, that's the... That's the uh, problem. No? No? you need to consider the cost in order to reach or accomplish the goal you need. For example, in my church, no, we have, uh, we have the, the financial goal. No? We need to reach at least 500,000 to pay our uh, tax in BIR, no? the capital gain tax. We need also to uh, subdivide our church lot no? because the, the whole lot has its uh, occupants. So we need to contact the uh, survey, no? the surveyor. So, we need to pay them. We need to uh, process our occup occupancy clearance in the uh, office of the engineering of Antipolo. So, we have the goal no, to reach 500,000 pesos. Very high amount. And so, Actually, there is no one who who take ownership. Okay? There's no one who take ownership. But uh, I decided to 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 take the ownership of that amount. Okay? So now, uh, let us discuss Christian leadership. What is it? So, leadership can look at from many different angles. Okay? So, we can look up through different angles. So, leadership is a position. No? Companies have leaders. Organization have leaders. Groups have leaders. So, leadership Yan. Next one, 
Leadership is a relationship. Leaders are person who have followers by definition. People may follow organization of inspiration, self-interest, or because of organizational structure, but followers there must be. That is a uh, leadership. Next one, leadership is action. So leaders are known by the leadership act they perform. A person may have a long list of the attributes or traits of a leader, but if he never takes leadership action, he is not a leader. Okay, I hope you understand that explanation. And then, we need also to consider Christian leadership. So this is different or different from other form of leadership. So what is this Christian leadership? Okay. So, uh, So, there has been a general confusion between the person or role of the leader and that of the manager or administrator or executive or director or general or ruler or whatever name the position carries. This confusion is quite natural. Persons who turn out to be good leader find themselves in a position of leadership. Since they are seldom identified as leader until the time they assume the leadership role, it is difficult to distinguish between the man and the role. Okay? Okay, so leadership is of utmost importance. Indeed, there is no substitute for it. But leadership cannot be created or promoted. It cannot be taught or learned. Okay, so, so Peter, Dra Peter Drucker. Uh, I, uh, a dean of management no? uh, from the book he wrote in the practice of management Drucker believes that the task of the organization is to create the condition under which potential leadership qualities become effective to put it in another way, leadership qualities are, are part of the basic makeup of the individual. They will not necessarily become evident until that individual is found in a leadership situation. They will, uh, most of it, not, of, not all, the man and the woman who are found in leadership position have been put there because their leadership abilities has been recognized. If you or your associate do not have the basic makeup of a leader, 
you will not become one, but it does not follow that men and women who are potential leaders are automatically find leadership role. So, we are uh, discussing this because uh, uh, once in your lifetime, you will become a future leader. Okay? <clears throat> you will become a leader and uh, you will going to have a, uh, uh, what's this, subordinate. And in this case, you need to you need to have a good qualities of being a leader. Okay? So, let's go to the uh, uh, qualities of leader. Yan. So, basic qualities of leader is uh, selfless dedication. No? So, there is about a leader... A belief in what he is doing. No? Even though there are many um, uh, obstacles, there are many uh, trials and challenges. No? He's still trying to reach uh, the goal. He is willing to sacrifice even himself to accomplish the task. Okay? So, selfless dedication. So, this person is willing to sacrifice for the sake of the goal of the organization or the church. Okay? Second is the courage to hold on in spite of the apparent obstacle to make a decision with inadequate information to risk reputation and material well-being require a courage based on conviction. So a major portion of this courage will demonstrate itself in decisiveness. Decision must be made even though there are many people that are hindering him or her. No? Other men vacillate. No? The leader makes a decision and moves ahead. Okay? Third one is persuasiveness. No? Persuasiveness. If men and women are to follow, they must be con convinced that the goals and aspiration of the leader are worthy of their dedication. No? And be motivated to attempt them. Interestingly, there is almost universal agreement that the most outstanding leader have what? Humility. Which has resulted in their accepting responsibility for failure as well as success. No? Up to this point, we have been describing qualities which might be held by um, almost anyone in any walk of life. But for the vast majority of leadership situation, there must be competence. The individual must have skills in the area in which he is working. Without competence, few wars will be won. No Asian liner will duck. No organization will long survive. Competence assume intelligence and creativity to whatever degree required. So many people think of leaders 
as having a great deal of personality, both personal observation and a small amount of research will quickly show that personality is not one of the basic qualities. There are leaders who are personally warm and affable. There are others who are cold and aloof. Nor can leaders be tight by the way in which they go about their task. There are many different styles of leadership, no? dictatorial, autocratic, benevolent, democratic. No? Some men lead by example. Others lead by sensing the direction of the crowd. Some are problem solver who work well in group. Others may pride themselves on their decision-making ability and rejoice in the personal quick decision in the complex societies in which most of us work. Men who hold position of leadership in dynamic organization have learned to adapt their style to the situation. So, one good uh, leadership style is what we call situational leadership. Okay, so how can we find good leader? Because according to Drucker, leadership cannot be taught or learned. Hindi ito na ituturo. Or hindi ito bigla-biglang natutunan. What can we do to find, equip, and select the best leader? The, under, the answer lies in building organization which encourage and promote these basic qualities. Leadership is situational. When they apply the leadership in certain situation, then leadership uh, capabilities will uh, what what is this will proceed. Okay, so it is a combination of right leader leading the right group. In the right set of circumstances. So that is uh, uh, looking for good leader. Uh, set high standards of conduct, responsibility, and performance. Okay, responsibility. We need to look for a leader who are responsible. Okay, when you give them tasks, they are willing to finish and fulfill the task. No, if you if you encounter problems and then you consider them as leader, they need to show up. They need to support. They need to carry the problem of the organization, not by running away, escaping to solve the problem. One good character of a uh, uh, leader, no? Uh, I'm saying this because you are considered to be a leader, no? You are doing the pastoral task. So, through experience, 
you may uh, show some leadership skills. Okay, so create a climate where good leaders will be recognized and nurtured. So once such a climate exists, good leaders will begin to identify themselves. Okay, so actually not only good climates, no? There are such climates that is problematic. So meaning when there is problem and then you can see individual who are doing something for the benefit of the organization or benefit of the church. Not looking for uh, uh, adding a problem to the problem. Okay? So, leader must have adequate competence in the field. If a man or woman is to assume broader responsibilities, he must have the specific training needed. This can be obtained formally by more academic work or the on the job like you you are doing apprenticeship no that is on the job then care about then care should be taken both no by the supervisor okay it does not follow uh, that because a man is technically outstanding no hindi ibig sabihin ang isang tao ay outstanding pwede na siyang gawing leader no putting a technically competent person in leadership position when he is not a leader may only serve to prove okay the peter principle all men eventually rise to the level of their incompetence. Okay, so it's hard to look or it's hard to find a good leader because a good leader is stand in the time of crisis. No, stand out in the time of crisis. In the times of problem, he show himself and trying to uh, provide uh, encouragement. Okay? So that is the way how to look an good leader, a good leader. Okay? If you notice individual who are willing to assist you in certain problem in the church, they are potential leader. So, uh, what is a Christian leader? So, Christian leader is motivated by love and given over to service. Okay? Ang kanyang Motivation is love. And then, given over to the service, to the ministry. Okay? Siya ay laging handa sa paglilingkod. Another, a Christian leader is that has been subjected to the control of Christ and His example. Okay, you see, Jesus Christ, even though in the midst of sufferings, 
problems and trials, he never quit. No, he show a good qualities of leader. Okay? So you need to understand that. That truly Christian leader has discovered that leadership begins with the towel and the basin in the role of a servant. Okay? Remember the the servanthood of Jesus Christ? No? He has a selfless dedication. No? It is possible because the Christian knows that God has a grand strategy of which he is a part. And then, uh, he show courage. It is magnified by the power that comes through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. He or she not afraid, no, about uh, about the uh, uh, the the uh, what's this? Mga hadlang or mga tutol, no? Those who are against him because he or she have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And of course, Christian leader are individual who have decisiveness, the ability to decide, no? comes from knowing that ultimate responsibility does not lie with him. It is the power of the Holy Spirit. And then Christian leaders also possess the persuasiveness that is based on allegiance to the cause that transcends all causes. Okay, and then the leader, Christian leader, need also a character of compassion that is a human expression of Christ's concern for the individual. Okay, that is Christian leadership. And lastly, he possesses the character of humility that is results from knowing that is it is God who does the work. Now, the challenge is, are you a leader? Are you a Christian leader? You need to lead the purpose of leadership. No? From the pattern of Christ. Okay, that is the uh, the important things we need to know as Christian leader. We need to be motivated by the love. We need to give ourselves to the service of the church and the ministry of the church. We should not escape not serving God. We should not reject the appointment or the task that given to us by uh, our uh, superior. And of course, it should be, our life should be subjected to the control of Christ and His example. We need to study the leadership style of Jesus Christ and then willing to follow it. So we are uh, we are doing now Christian leadership. Okay? We are blessed because um, we are uh, appointed by God 
to be his leader. There are many people around us. No, that's why the Bible say, many are called but few are chosen. Even though that verse is uh, specifically uh, for the uh, 12 disciples, but we can uh, use that generally because there are only few that is called to Christian leadership. Okay? So, I will end here. And uh, I hope you learn something from my uh, lecture. Okay? We need to consider ourselves as Christian leaders and should not uh, avoid doing the task. We should become responsible Christian leader willing to submit no to the to the leadership of our church okay so if you are uh, uh, helping a pastor you no know, develop a submissive uh, attitude okay not rejecting their uh, not rejecting their uh, instruction but willing to uh, obey no giving consideration that God chooses that leader to be our leader and uh, sometime in your lifetime you will become a leader okay thank you very much for listening God bless you and uh, I hope I was able to give you some insight about leadership. Okay, so I will continue sa the discussion next meeting. Okay, bye-bye and God bless you.